Hello, my name is Jolie Boucher, and today I'm going to show you how you can create jigsaw puzzles using Google Slides, or this will also work in Google Drawings. So you're going to create a slide, and you're going to add the images, the word art, the bitmojis, the backgrounds, everything that you want to be in your puzzle. Once you are finished, we need to flatten this image so it is just one image. See how they are all separate images? We want them all to flatten to one image. So we're going to do that by going to File, and we're going to download this slide as a PNG image. Okay, and you can give it a name and click Save. Once you have done that, you are now going to go to a website such as thejigsawpuzzles.com. And from here, you can create a username and password, and you can upload up to 28 puzzles. So I'm going to click Make a Puzzle, and I'm just going to drag my final image right here and click Make Puzzle. Now this is being uploaded, and you will soon be asked if you would like to give it a title and a description. Once you are finished, you're going to decide if there's a default cut. Notice you can have up to 500 pieces. How awesome is that? And if you want rotations, you're going to click change. If you do not want rotations, you just click leave unchanged. So our puzzle is being generated. And now you can decide if you want to change the cuts. We just want the 20 piece. And here we go. Now, some people enjoy using the website you know, themselves without bringing the puzzle pieces into Google Slides or Google Drawings. If you want to do that, that's fine. I find a lot of these websites have ads and all sorts of different links that students could click on. So it may be a better idea to do the following. You could connect the puzzle pieces right here in this website, but this website the jigsawpuzzles.com makes it super easy to just right click and copy the image, go into Google Slides and just right click and paste. So you can continue adding all your jigsaw pieces by just right clicking and copying and pasting. When you're finished, you could also add what the puzzle should look like when it's done so that students have some sort of baseline to go by. So they know that this is what the puzzle should look like when they're done assembling all the pieces. So here's the final puzzle. You can see that all the puzzle pieces have been connected and I had a lot of fun doing that. So now students and teachers can become designers of their own jigsaw puzzles. Fun, hope you enjoyed learning about this today.